IKF US National Champion, putting his unblemished record on the line. As a professional, perfect. 21 fights, 21 wins, and 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the Bronx, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is Super Elvis Gashi. Since kid, I used to fight a lot on the street, but I find myself in kickboxing. When I started kickboxing, never fought on the street, so kickboxing changed my life. I'm Elvis Gashi. I'm from Kosovo. I'm a pro fighter. They call me Super Elvis Gashi. I'm 22-0, undefeated. I fight for glory kickboxing. I'm ranked top four on the board. How you doing? Uh, my name is Peter Simone. I met Elvis about three years ago um, through a mutual friend. He's, he's grown quite a bit. I mean, you see like he belongs at the stage where he's at. It's not like God doesn't make mistakes and he's there for a reason. He's a pro fighter. I didn't know what to expect. I knew he was the fourth ranked lightweight in glory kickboxing and he's 22 and 0. He's actually one of the most humble people I've been around. He opened his own gym, the Arena Training Center in Mount Vernon, New York. It was pretty impressive to see a guy who's in the heart and prime of his fighting career being willing to open a gym and teach 10-year-old kids how to fight and more so teaching them discipline and really giving back to that community in Mount Vernon. Uh, he spoke to me a lot about his mission in that training center to provide a, a place where kids can come and not only learn how to fight and practice jujitsu and other martial arts, but to have a family and really feel like they're a part of something. I think that kind of speaks a lot on where he's from and how he grew up. On his leg, he has a pretty cool tattoo, a skull with half split between the Albanian flag and the American flag, which I thought you know, spoke a lot about him too as a person, just being extremely open to everybody and humble and thankful for all things that have kind of impacted his life. So it became really clear in uh, spending the day with Elvis yesterday that yes, he's a beast, yes, he's a super athlete, but beyond that, he's just an amazing person. He's doing so much to give back to his community, he trains so hard, and just his discipline is, is really incomparable. Such a humble and sweet guy. He's just opened up a new gym. This guy, he, he's training twice a day. He's such a beast and they train so hard, just non-stop, full force. It was just a treat to see him in action. After his second training session of the day, he goes back up to the Bronx where he has his own gym and he teaches. It's because he grew up in a really rough area and was fighting a lot on the streets and he's seen how Becoming a, a professional fighter has given him these values and the structure so that he doesn't do any of that outside anymore. He's very focused on it as an art and a profession and it's allowed him to just really transform how he engages with the rest of the world.